Hi people, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Season 3 Episode 10. As you can see, I am in a, mm, I am not in my regular pl playing world. I in fact in my testing world, which you can see hasn't been much uh, tested, so to speak. Well, ma uh, mainly I was going test I was testing if uh, great wood would uh, grow in here. Seems like he won't. Oh dear. Or at least uh, it hasn't tried to yet. Anyway, I'm here for a reason, not uh, just to boast about the powers of NAI or something like that. Oh, by the way, this is uh, an automatic research system I develop uh, in a in a video you can check in my channel. Wow. <coughs> well, more to the point. Uh, I'm going. I'm here just to conceptualize. Yes, conceptualize. I'd like to. Oh, of course, under chests are bugged in here, so I should need to craft them by hand. Anyway, no problem. I can use the uh, I can use regular chests. What I'm going to conceptualize here is my well, the system, the automatic re uh, receiving system for items. So, assuming this is the starting position, a chest where everything will be placed either manually or using one of these babies, an item teleporting pipe, which I won't be crafting in a while since I don't have all the diamonds required to craft it and besides it's uh, not need really needed if I don't have this nifty item quarry which requires two diamond girls too. Also, you might remember I saved my diamond pickaxe in the playing world. Well, I saved it for the quarry. Anyway, this will be the entrance. Items will be placed in this chest, so we need some way of taking them out. So, how are we going to take them out? Uh, well, I'm going to use uh, one of the yellow arms I uh, staff for this. So let me see if I can find filter. I believe we can use safely the filter because, well, I'd say I'd like to say why not, but <laughs> I believe it can. Uh, if I remember right, it can take uh, about uh, a stack of items per tick. <coughs> so right, <coughs> I usually placed the clock behind the wall pulls in for the filter but I can place it to pulse for other items. Anyway, let's check if this will be pulling stacks or just items or nothing. Nope. Not, uh, well, something is being pulled at least. Hmm. Okay, it's pulling a stack, but it's not uh, dropping the items. Let's place a chest in there for a second, so we can check it. Yeah. Perfect. So we're going to use a filter in there. So from the filter, we need to uh, make I uh, to d qualify items. Decide where are they going to do, where are they going to be, where are they, what route in our system they are going to take. So for that we're going to use this. This is the sorting machine, another of all arms items. And remember, you can rotate them using the screwdriver or the sonic screwdriver. This item, unlike the filter, requires electricity to work, which means we're going to need some solar panels and a battery box. And more than likely, we're going to need also some blue alloy wire. Remember, the blue alloy wire is crafted like this. I, we made some in the first episodes. Uh, the battery box is like this. We also made one. And the solar panel is like this. 
again we also made one of course we didn't make uh, yet a, fil a, a filter or the sorting machine well the filter you can craft it like this with a piston and rest doper wafer rest doper wafers uh, are used for several items but uh, they can be crafted mainly using the blue electric alloy furnace which we already crafted in the let's play or the alloy furnace using coal instead of electricity not a great deal you are going to need uh, normal wafers and instead uh, well they are crafted the, the same way you craft the blue electricity or blue electric uh, let me see blue ducked wafers they are crafted the same way, just instead of using a red alloy ingot in the center, they are going to use a blue alloy ingot. Not in the center, sorry. Uh, there will be... Oh dear, I am completely messing this up. Okay, yeah. The, uh, we are going to turn a silicon wafer into a red dot wafer by placing the silicon wafer with some redstone inside of the alloy furnace or the blue, alloy, or the blue electric alloy furnace. Uh, but we are going to see that in the next play, so don't worry. And by the way, so you know it, the solar panels from uh, LRAMS Red Power 2 also act as blue alloy wire, wire at least uh, between each other which means all nine are connected to this battery box which is taking its memory time to charge because it's sharing its contents with the sorting machine anyway we are finished with this we are going to get some more pneumatic tubes and uh, from here items will go pro, uh, to one or two options start with the discriminations right now. First, they are going to... Uh, well, they are going to... Let me check, uh, let me grab a lock chest. I prefer to use chest, uh, no, lock chest, no, they are what am I doing a normal chest. Uh, I prefer to use a normal chest because you can use any of those. Uh, and now we need, uh, you, got, you can use that instead of the usual uh, buffer chest uh, of rest, from rest power with ease. I prefer so, by the way. And uh, we're going to need for correct use of that, yes, paintings. We're going to use, for example, a white painting in here. And uh, what I use for every, what uh, I call everything else, black. So uh, we're going to the sorting machine until it's yeah, like this. This you're going to place black, and everything else we're going is going to be on white. So what I'm going to do is to sense all. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to... <coughs> there we go. Gold or iron or... No, coal or... No, there's no coal or... And... What else? Silver, tin, more copper... No, not no colite. Copper, tin, uranium not, update not. Copper, tin, and tin. Oh dear. 4038. Um, old tin, was it? Yeah. Yep. Can't place here right now um, the ores from. Um, yeah, say apatite ore. Like, we can't place them from forestry. It's a little buggy right now. Anyway. Everything I place in here will be painted white and sent uh, on its way to the chest. The chest is going to be... I'm going to place another 
filter here. Let's grab it. I can't remember where they are. Yeah, filter. Of course, I am going. Uh, I am doing this in um, in two dimensions instead of uh, three. So, won't be surprised if you see this placed differently in the Let's Play. Anyway, uh, okay. Here we're going to go to more sorting machines, a chain of sort of different sorting machines. That uh, it's uh, that will be sending stuff to chests. From here, we're going to send items to be macerated using mm -mm -mm, macerators. Two should be okay, and since macerators don't take, uh, don't appreciate to have items placed. On their sides, we're going to use like this, and now we're going to take items out. How are we going to do th uh, then? If I want to, mm, I need a retriever right now, which uh, is like a filter or a transposer, but working on blue electric power and uh, remotely. So. I can place it in here and it will try to pull items from this from the inventories on these uh, macerators every time it ticks. It also needs uh, blue electric power by the way. And I know I'm going I'm making a mess uh, on of cablings in here but uh, can't be helped right now. Well, we can place there another battery box for now, but I doubt I will be using two in the playing world. Not uh, that it will be hard for me to to make two right now. I have uh, a lot of uh, extra materials. Anyway, from here, items will go inside uh, 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 the furnace. Going to place two electric furnaces. Yep. And they happen to have the same trouble. And also, you can make items to be painted once they are out. And say it's something wrong. Wait a second. Okay, it seems like the problem was unrelated to the retriever. Or at least uh, it was something in my computer. That was unused to do this. Anyway, uh, the retriever also needs a uh, redstone signal. So we can either place another clock or make the signal from this clock to reach both this uh, filter, this filter, and this retriever. We are also going to need to take items out of it, out of this. And. Uh, our options are to place here uh, another sorting machine connecting this again here or let things uh, hmm if we do this by the way uh, the retriever will try first to take items from here and then from here so there might be a time when things clock up a little and the system and the system, and the system might uh, get blocked. It's a shame, really. Or we can take the retriever from here and place it in here, so it will give priority to these items. But the signal won't reach in here. The safest uh, option would be to use two retrievers, anyway. And considering how the system was clocked up several times in my previous let's play, I'm going to use that option, I believe. So, another retriever coming by. Mm -mm -mm. If I manage to find it, that's it. There it is. Let's place it like this, for example, for now. 
So, where do I want to take these items? <laughs> well, essentially they are going to go into the first echelon of the sorting system and deposit their items on the storage. Yep. That's essentially what will be the receiving system. However, there are other items we need to consider, and now starts the complications. You might be asking, what are you talking about? Well, I am going to place the extractor in the chain, too. So, I'm going to place it in here, and you see, this uh, tube has connected to the side of the extractor. However, if we grab ourselves uh, a diamond hand saw and one piece of stone, we can turn the stone into a stone cover. I already showed you this in the Let's Play, I hope. Anyway, we're going to place this by kneeling, hitting shift. We can place the panel in there, and you can see the tubing is no longer trying to connect into the structure pipe. We are also going to place another in here, so we can do this. And the, we are going to grab ourselves another paint, more paint in here. To be precise, we are going to take, for example, green paint, place it in here. And we are going here and say, where is the green paint? That's slime, by the way. There it is. You can <coughs> you can guess the colors by because they are in order in here. So I used this green paint, so it has to be closer to red and black. Black is the la latest, red, green, brown, etc. And what we are going to place in there is essentially uh, an industrial craft item that requires to be extracted. So, if I manage to find it, well, no need to to look f uh, for it. And let me see. There we go, rubber wood. These items go directly to the extractor. Other I items that require the use of the extractor, I'm not uh, really sure right now. It can be added later. Anyway, the things, uh, the way things are set up, items will go first. Well, items you place into the large chest will go, uh, will be taken one stack at a time inside this sorting machine. That uh, since it is not receiving any redstone current, it, this is important. It won't be trying to get them. I mean, you can dispose of this filter. But the sorting machine takes one item at a time, but it's able to paint one stack at a time. So by using the filter and the sorting machine, we make a small round, uh, small, well, we take a small detour and avoid that problem altogether. So the items that get in here are painted either black, white, or green. If they are painted black, they will be going to the sorting system. If they are painted uh, white, they will go here, where they are, where they are going to be storage, uh, until the fil this filter takes them to these uh, macerators, which will turn them into dust, that will be then be retrieved inside these furnaces, that will then expel them well, the, the items will be taken by this other retriever that will send them to the sorting system. So, this is essentially how things are going to work. This is exceedingly simple. You can add more options if you like. But since I am not going to add uh, the recycler for the time being, I believe it, it, it is a good uh, setup, at least for now. I need to leave some room for the recyclers later because I can then add, for example, a brown color in here uh, where he is going to sense dirt, cobblestone, and 
uh, probably marble too, etc. And uh, there they will be stored in one chest. I will set up uh, in a precise way. And any overflowing item will be then recycled. Recycled. So that will be the plan. Uh, for that plan to work, I am going to need to craft myself another electric furnace and another macerator. Mm -mm -mm. Also, I need to take into account the fact that, that this macerator will have priority. Uh, the, the rest power 2 items prioritize stuff with uh, distance. It, uh, the shorter the distance, the highest the priority that uh, inventory receives. So, for example, in this case, this macerator will have priority, but in this other case, it will be this electric furnace, the one to the left, uh, the one that will get priority. Hmm. Impressive. Impressive. Uh, anyway. I suppose I should uh, be giving a little more priority to this automatic research system, but for now I'm good, I suppose. There's not many... Oh. There's not that many items I want to research, at least for now. So, that's it. Uh, yeah. I suppose that's uh, all that needs to be talked about in this thingy. Yes, I feel this is a good wrapping up point for this episode, but uh, don't worry. I will release episode 11 at the same time. So <laughs> you won't need to to just watch uh, proof of concept with the series. So thanks for watching and enjoy now episode 11. Bye!